Hello my beautiful little mugglets. Today we are trying Honkai Impact 3rd on PC. Basically just giving my first impressions of it. Obviously it looks extremely similar to the mobile version considering you can link your mobile account to it. Uh, yeah, that makes sense. One annoyance I did run into is the fact you can only log in with a, a MiHoYo account and uh, I didn't have one of those. I just was logging in with Google Play on my phone. Uh, so you kind of have to link a MiHoYo account to play on PC with your old account, which like I said was a bit of an annoyance, but not too bad. Uh, as you can see, we're playing an ultra wide here, as I have an ultra wide monitor. First thing I want to do is check the settings, see what we can do. I mean, the game looks really good here, and I assume as a PC game it's going to utilize the graphics card, unlike a lot of emulators where it's mainly going to rely on your CPU. Okay, I finally found them. So, we have a couple new options here, controls. As soon as I plugged my PS4 controller in, it recognized it immediately, there was no need to set up anything. Uh, but it has it set up here for you anyway, and you can change them. I'm just probably going to leave them how they are for now. Actually, never mind. Attack has always been X for me. So boom, but it's easy. Dodge has always been circle. Ultimate's triangle, weapon, card, skill, square, that's all good. Co-ops have always been up and down for me here. I don't really know what max attack is or battle tips, but I'll switch those to RT and LT. So far this is nothing you can't do with an emulator. We're just going to keep those at 50 and adjust them later if needed. Show FPS, I'm I'm hoping we can go above 60 like a lot of emulators can't. I think Nox recently was able to go to 120, but I don't know if the mobile version of Honkai Impact 3rd even supports more than 60. You guys aren't really going to be able to see that anyway because... YouTube only supports 60 FPS. You can also hide the button map. We're gonna do that. Well, we'll keep it on for now. I will hide the joystick though. As far as graphics are concerned, we can do FPS max. Okay, we're gonna do everything to max. I have a decent gaming PC, uh, so hopefully we can get a, like a little bit better than on an emulator. Ultra wide compatible, cool. That was just automatically here. I guess it recognized that I do in fact have an ultra wide monitor. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the settings. Very similar to the mobile version, but a few extras for PC. But yeah, let's just go check out those graphics, see if it's uh, see if I'm blown away. I actually don't see an FPS counter anywhere, but maybe that that's only during gameplay. So I definitely do notice a bit more, more detail. Um, I still don't see an FPS counter, but uh, it feels like 60 FPS. Um, might need to check that a little bit. Overall though, I do think it looks better. Alright, I have to switch the settings with the uh, Valkyrie thing because I have that reverse. We also have a little mouse here, which also doesn't seem to be very smooth. Uh, but we can also use the uh, joystick to move it around or just the mouse. Show FPS is set to on, but like, yeah, I don't, don't actually see where. They also have this like battle pass thing going on. I mean, it, it was a while since I was last playing, so I'm sure there's a ton of new stuff. Um, but those are always fun. But yeah, as far as the PC version goes, um, to be perfectly honest, it feels just like an emulator. And I wouldn't say there's anything wrong with that. You know, ultimately, I don't think anyone was expecting it like a whole new game or anything. And yeah, I'd say it's fine. It's definitely more streamlined. You know, you, there, there's practically no setup. You just go on the website, download the stuff, make sure you have a MiHoYo account. And if you want to play with a controller, just plug it in to one of the USB slots on your computer and you're good to go. You can probably even connect it with Bluetooth, but I don't, I don't mess with that because that's kind of annoying then. So yeah, basically if you want to play Honkai Impact 3rd on your PC without having to deal with emulators or mapping your own buttons or anything, this is definitely cool. I had just done all that setup already anyway, so I guess it's a little bit harder for me to, um, I don't know, appreciate it? Oh, interesting. Okay, so you can get a little bit more power on your way to double S, because I know I was never able to transform six serenade to double S, but it looks like you can kind of do that now. Little, little steps. I saw that with the new Valkyrie, uh, Yay Kasumi, I think, and I was like, damn, she must need a lot of souls, but I guess that's just normal now. And uh, you can just get that little bit of extra power on your way to the next stuff. Pretty cool. But there is also one thing I have to consider in that perhaps it is more optimized for PC, unlike emulators that just kind of build one for all, you know? And I would certainly hope it utilizes the graphics card. In fact, I don't have to hope. I can actually pull up hardware monitor um, in a bit. You know, we're just going to play a bit here and then we're gonna look at the maximum values and see if it does in fact use the graphics card because I know emulators don't really use it that much. I don't really know who I'm going with here. We're just going to take those dudes. Okay, I see FPS now. It's down there. We're currently sitting at 120. That's the maximum rate of my monitor anyway, so... Okay, but we definitely did have a big hiccup there, which uh, was definitely common on emulators, and, and I was kind of hoping that would sort of be fixed. I mean, I guess that could be a problem on my end as well. 
although I wouldn't really know what. We are also playing at 3440 by 1440, so it needs a lot more uh, power than just a regular HD monitor. So that could be a reason as well. We do have a lot of variances in uh, FPS though. So at one point it'll be 120 and then now you can see when a little bit more is going on, it's at like you know, 90, 80, sometimes going down to 70. And of course I'm harping on about a lot of the more technical stuff because because that's the biggest thing versus just an emulator uh, to see if it's like more optimized, more efficient, you know. Overall though, it does look better. And of course, ease of startup, ease of use is way better than an emulator. Also another pro is I'm sure startup time is quite a bit faster as well because you just have your own little Honkai Impact 3rd icon there on your desktop instead of having to open an emulator first and then from within the emulator open up Honkai Impact 3rd. So for anyone like wanting to get into Honkai Impact 3rd uh, on PC, definitely go PC version route rather than an emulator in my opinion. So ultimately I think the PC version is better than an emulator in every way. It's just that if you already have the emulator version, I can't say it's like a massive upgrade or totally different or anything, but I'd still recommend it over an emulator. It's just way easier, more streamlined. But yeah, it definitely looks very nice. And also this place, this open world map, um, I think is one of the hardest things that I've had trouble with. And compared to emulators, I think it runs pretty smooth. You, you can see some hiccups here and there, but considering we're nearly on max graphics, it's really not that bad and a lot better than phone. Cause if you're running this on phone on max graphics and everything, it, that's gonna heat up so fast. Well, m maybe unless you have like one of those special gaming phones like the Asus ROG or whatever, but well, for some reason my hardware monitor decided to off itself as soon as I was about to check it, so we gotta do a bit more running around. Every time I minimize the game to check on the hardware monitor, it closes itself, so I'm going to put it on my other screen here and uh, see that yes, it is indeed using like all of the graphics card, which is awesome. It's only a 1080, so it looks like I might have to upgrade if I want to get rid of those hiccups every now and then or just maybe turn off anti-aliasing or something. I'm not sure it's totally necessary anyway, and anti-aliasing is one of those things that needs a lot of power. One thing I've noticed though is that it feels a little bit less responsive than I'm used to. That should be opposite case since we're running at a higher frame rate. I don't know, maybe it was always like that, but listen to my button press and when she actually swings the sword. I don't know. It's like I said, it could be that it's always been like that, but I haven't played in a while, so take it with a grain of salt. Also, like I was saying earlier, we are playing with a wired PS4 controller, so no uh, like Bluetooth latency is happening here either. Now that I think about it, it may just be like a uh, maze animation or something that makes it feel like that, because that's like really responsive. Uh, yeah, okay, so it might just be me making it look kind of kind of sluggish. But yeah, I don't know if there's too much else to say about uh, the PC version. It's nice, you know, it looks really good. Uh, for the most part, it runs well. But yeah, I guess I'll pretty much do it. Like, there might be something I'm missing here. I wouldn't know though, it's like the settings. What else could really be different? The fact that it uses your graphics card unlike a lot of emulators that I've experienced is nice. The plug and play experience with the controller is also great and pretty much everything else I've already said a couple times. So uh, yeah, that's where I'm gonna wrap it up. Make sure to leave your own thoughts in the comments down below though. Leaving a like if you haven't enjoy is always greatly appreciated as well. Thanks as always for watching and until next time.